about whether they can afford free books because they're worried that they don't want to have to put their children. The idea that everybody in this country can get decent health care, that goal is achievable. We are on our way. If all of us have the courage and the wisdom to keep working, not against one another, not to scare each other, but for one another, then we won't just make progress on health care. We'll make progress on all the other work that remains to create new opportunity for everybody who works for it. And to make sure that this country is the advanced country on earth It doesn't make sure everybody has basic health care. Who is that? That's thanks in part to leaders like Nancy Pelosi and Dick Durbin and all the members of Congress who are here today. We could not have done it without them, and they should be proud of what they've done. They should be proud of what they've done. Like some critics did. But what we said was, look for yourself. See if it's work for your family. And a whole lot of people decided it was. So I want to thank everybody who worked so hard to make sure that we arrived at this point today. Now I want to, I want to make sure everybody understands. Uh, in the months, years ahead, I guarantee you there will be additional challenges to implementing this law. There will be days when the website... Stumble. I guarantee it. So, press, just, I want you to anticipate. That's what the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, fully insured, like Marla, deserve that dignity. Working Americans, like Jeannie, deserve that economic security. Women, the sick, survivors. They deserve fair treatment in our health care system. All of which makes the constant power, like every major piece of legislation, from so to make adjustments along the way, and site has had its share of problems. We know something about that. And yes, at times this reform has been contentious and confusing. And obviously...